Voral Versetta Stone is a mortarless stone veneer that has all the beauty of natural stone with the simplicity of siding. Because of its panelized design, Voral Versetta Stone can be installed just like traditional siding using nails or screws, so there is no mortar, no mason, and no mess. Before you get started, take some time to estimate the materials you'll need to complete your project. A single panel of Borel Versetta stone provides two square feet of wall coverage. These equations will help you to order the right amount of panels. Until you become more familiar with our products, factor in about 10% of scrap to get the coverage you need. For more detailed measurement information, download our installation guide from versettastone.com. The Borel Versetta Stone System has two main components, flat panels and universal corners. Take a look at the features of the universal corner as they are different from the flat panel. Universal corner pieces have finished ends, creating a better fit on both inside and outside corners. This design allows the universal corner to fit neatly with flat panels. Unlike flat panels, a whole universal corner piece cannot be used in the center of a course. Universal corner pieces must be cut to create left and right corners. Vary the location of your cuts to create a staggered appearance. You can add finishing touches to your projects with additional accessories from Borel Versetta Stone, including light boxes, receptacle boxes, wainscoat caps, and trim stones. Boral Versetta stone panels should be installed only on homes and buildings that meet code requirements, including code-approved flashing and water management provisions. If there's any question about the integrity of the structure of your project, contact the owner, builder, or registered design professional before starting the installation. Install a minimum of one layer of code-approved water-resistive barrier, making sure flashings are integrated in shingle fashion. The water-resistive barrier must be overlapped a minimum of 16 inches at all inside and outside corners. Installing Borel Versetta stone is very simple. Panels are lapped in a shingle fashion so that the bottom tongue seats completely into the corresponding top groove. The panels are butt end-to-end -end so that alignment tabs on the side of each panel seat together. If panels are cut in the field of the wall, the side alignment tabs will be removed. The panels should be staggered a minimum of 8 inches from one course to the courses directly above or below to avoid alignment of vertical joints. Panels must be installed level and plumb. For the best appearance, pull material from multiple boxes as you progress up the wall. Each full panel or partial panel 18 inches or longer requires a minimum of four fasteners. Two of these fasteners must penetrate framing. See the printed installation instructions for additional information on fastening or visit versettastone.com. To install standard Borel Versetta Stone flat panels, start by installing the starter strip, level and in a position that provides the required clearance from grade or a paved surface. Fasten every 8 to 10 inches, allowing a 1 32nd gap between the fastener head and starter strip. Lap the water-resistive barrier over the starter strip flange. Set the flat panel into the starter strip so that the panel tongue seats firmly into the starter groove and slide the panel into position. Attach the panel to the wall with four fasteners, making sure at least two penetrate framing. 
Continue the same procedure, butting panels end to end, until the first course is complete. Your last course panel will likely need to be cut to size. Using the scrap from the last cut, start your next course. Offsetting the second course will prevent end seams from lining up vertically. If universal corners were used, the offset may already be present. Now we'll show you how to install an outside corner. Start the installation with a starter strip, installed level, making sure at least one layer of water-resistive barrier is lapped over the nailing flange. Use cut pieces of the universal corner that are at least 8 inches in length. To install an outside corner, start at the bottom of the wall and position one half of the universal corner. Nail flange up, cut edge away from the corner, into the starter strip and check that it's level. Set a flat panel into the starter strip on the adjacent wall. Extend the universal corner past the wall edge and slide the flat panel to intersect with the universal corner. If you are using a full flat panel, remove the alignment tab before installing. Adjust both pieces as needed to obtain the best appearance. Now we'll install an inside corner. As with all other uses of a universal corner, the panel will need to be cut into two pieces, making sure the cut pieces are not equal in length and that they are at least 8 inches long. Notice that the last three inches or so of a universal corner have a relatively flat face surface. This will allow a standard flat panel to be butt into it without creating a gap. Start by inserting the universal corner piece into the starter strip with the cut edge away from the corner. Slide the cut universal corner into the corner of the wall. After securing the universal corner panel, slide a flat panel on the adjacent wall to the face of the universal corner. If you're using the factory end of the standard flat panel, remove the alignment tab before installing. Make sure to continue to alternate the universal corner up the wall until your installation is complete. The third use of the universal corner is as a mid-wall termination or a termination at the end of a wall. You will need to cut the universal corner to create left and right corners for these applications. As always, we recommend that the pieces are cut at different lengths and that they are at least 8 inches long. You can extend the universal corner beyond the wall termination up to 3 inches for a better looking transition to the adjoining wall covering. For the best look, align all courses with a similar overhang. If you're capping your installation, simply set the wainscot cap on the top of your last full panel course. Check that it's level and then attach it with four fasteners, with at least two penetrating the framing. Also make sure that the end fasteners are within three inches from the end of the cap. Continue across the wall, butting each cap against the previous. In some cases, the nail flange must be removed from the panel to install it into soffits, windows, or other terminations or penetrations. We refer to these as a partial panel installation. Please see the written installation instructions for additional information on partial panel installation. Using your saw or grinder, cut off the nail flange evenly so that it doesn't stick out above the stone. Prepare the wall for the adhesive bond by attaching a non-painted flashing or galvanized expanded metal lath material. This material must be fastened to the framing. Next, apply thick vertical beads of PL90 construction adhesive to the back of the panel and then place the panel's tongue into the groove of the panel below and press firmly against the wall for even contact between the back of the panel and the surface of the wall. It is critical that contact between the adhesive and partial panel is maintained until the adhesive cures. It may be necessary to install shims or supplemental fasteners for this purpose. To install a light box or electrical box stone, first outline the location where it will be installed. 
prepare the surface for the adhesive bond with flashing or expanded metal lath, then retrace the stone location over the flashing or lath material and install Borel Versetta stone panels around your scribed line. When the wall is nearly completed, return and install the light box or electrical box stone with adhesive as outlined for any partial panel. Provide the means to maintain contact with the adhesive until it's cured. An electrical box extension has been included for your electrician to complete the installation. Please see additional details in the written installation instructions. Borel Versetta stone goes up fast like traditional siding and doesn't require mortar or grout like stone. Using only a drill and fasteners, you can achieve the look of natural stone quickly, easily, and without the mess. In this demonstration, we will cover roughly 50 square feet of wall in just over 16 minutes. As we have seen, Borel Versetta stone installs just like traditional siding without the mortar and mess of stone, making it a fast, easy way to achieve a natural stone look in both interior and exterior applications. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. For more details on Borel Versetta Stone plus installation and warranty information, visit versettastone.com. There are several common tips and tricks that can make the installation of Borel Versetta Stone even easier. For example, to adjust or level a panel quickly and easily, use a 5-in-1 tool. In applications that require gluing, use shims or supplemental fasteners to hold panels in place while the adhesive cures. For the best fit between panels, remove any debris or excess concrete from grooves with a brush. In some cases, you will need to remove a small portion of the panel's tongue for a better fit. To remove, use a grinder or tap the edge of the tongue gently with a hammer, swinging away from your body. When installing trim stone around a window, cut the bottom of the stone at a 10 degree angle so that it fits flush against the sill. In some cases, you will need to use supplemental fasteners like masonry screws for additional support. Pre-drill the panel with a masonry drill bit, then use caulk and a little stone dust to conceal the fasteners. Collect the dust from your saw table or make stone dust cutting a Borel Versetta stone scrap with a grinder. Be sure to wear the proper safety equipment and follow the tool manufacturer's instructions during this step. In some cases, you may wish to fill an odd gap between courses of stone. Use caulk followed by stone dust to conceal any gaps. Borel Versetta stone can add a great looking finish around a column. If the rough dimensions of the column are 16 inches by 16 inches, the installation for this application will exclusively use universal corners. Be sure to stagger each course of the column for the best look. Borel Versetta Stone is a great option for adding a stone look to your fireplace. Start with a universal corner on one side of the fireplace. Then work your way across the face, making sure to stagger all your courses to get the best possible look. For a creative and unique look, cut an 8-inch trim stone down to two 4-inch pieces. This works for applications like smaller fireplaces located in more narrow spaces so that you can leave more room for Borel Versetta stone panels on each side. To install Borel Versetta stone around windows, make sure the windows have been properly flashed to the window manufacturer's requirements before you start. For better looking joints on a bay or bow window, you can miter the ends of the panels at half the angle of the bay or bow window seams. For the best appearance, use pieces from the same panel on either side of the miter joint. 